Hello chemistry fans and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 problem solving session here at the Academic Success Center on Broward College North Campus. I am your host Dr. Russell Betts and I will be helping you through this problem today. So let's take a look. Write the electron arrangements for the following atoms. So now electron arrangements are basically where do you expect to find the electrons of a given atom. And to kind of understand that a little bit without going into too much detail, we have to understand uh, what energy levels or what shells they're called the electrons will want to fill. And the basic rules are this, that the um, electrons will fill uh, the shells in a certain way. For example, the first shell, which is closest to the nucleus, will hold two electrons maximum, but it won't hold three. It'll only hold two. After the first shell is filled with two electrons, you'll move into the second shell, which can hold maximum of eight. It can hold less, but it can hold more. Uh, after that, you go into the third shell, or the third energy level. That level can hold maximum of 18, but we generally talk about eight. That's generally how we do it. So uh, let's kind of get into the problem. Maybe it'll become a little more clear than that. Uh, without going into too much detail in a short video. So let's take a look at the periodic table. You need the table to do these questions. So we look at the periodic table and we find carbon. And we recognize immediately that carbon has the atomic number of six. So that means that carbon has six electrons. It has six protons, but it also has six electrons when it's neutral. Um, all atoms are neutral. So we have six electrons for carbon to deal with. And I'll just abbreviate them E negative, six E negative or six electrons. So now we know that on the first energy level, carbon can, or any element can hold uh, two electrons. So we're gonna write two comma. The comma indicates we're moving to the next energy level. We have six total electrons to deal with. We put two onto the first energy level. The next energy level will therefore have four. You might want to cut here, I want to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, uh, sorry, hopefully you can cut that out. I'm gonna keep going. Calcium, the next element on our list, has 20 protons. There's calcium. Calcium has the atomic number of 20. So calcium has 20 electrons. So now, let's just write down negative 20 E minus. It has 20 electrons. So again, the first energy level can hold 2. The second energy level can hold maximum 8. So there's 8. So let's take a pause. We have to fill in 20 electrons. So far, we've filled in two plus eight. That's 10 total. We have 10 left. So we have to go to the third energy level, eight. Two, eight, eight. That's only 18. So now we're gonna to go to the fourth energy level that can hold uh, 18 as well, but we're only going to use two of them, okay? 2, 8, 8, 2. 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. Go back to the periodic table. Neon. Neon is here. Neon has 10 uh, protons, so it also has 10 electrons. So now neon has 10 E negative. So we have to fill in the energy levels. Again, it will be two. The second energy level can hold eight, so it'll be two comma eight. Two in the first energy level, eight in the second for a grand total of 10. Remember the first energy level can hold maximum two. The second can hold maximum eight. The third technically can hold 18, but we typically stick to eight for reasons we will discuss later on. All right, next, lithium. Lithium has the atomic number three. So lithium has three protons 
and three electrons. So the first energy level will hold two, and we have one left, comma, one. So the next energy level is holding one electron, but it has the ability to hold eight, but it's just holding less, that's all.